From the Paper News 24-7 Newsroom, I'm Frank Phillips with your police blotter for Saturday, April 2, 2011. Crawfordsville Police Department responded to or arrested Amanda Prine, 31, on, of Crawfordsville on Thursday on a charge of theft, 3.47 p.m. John Abney, 33, of Crawfordsville on a warrant, 10.09 p.m. Loud Music Complaint, East Market Street, that was investigated at 1.23 p.m. A man said his mother was being harassed on the telephone in North Davis, 2.37 p.m. Landlord complained tenants were still in a house after they were supposed to be out. Police told him he could change the locks on the house, North Market Street, 2.38 p.m. An adult female shoplifter was apprehended at Walmart, 2.42 p.m. Disorderly conduct that started on the school bus on Wednesday was continued and police investigated South Elm, 2.45 p.m. Semi parked in the road blocking traffic, Washington and Chestnut, 3.16 p.m. Five boys jumping out in front of cars were reported, was reported, Elm and Hughes Street, 4.02 p.m. There was a complaint juveniles were misbehaving on the playground at Wilson School, 500 East Jefferson, 4.42 p.m. Fraud by phone book employees reported, East Main Street, 5 p.m. Someone inside the old hospital was reported. A caller heard breaking glass, Benford and Du Bois, 6.03 p.m. A purse was found at McDonald's on Smith Avenue, 7.47 p.m. That was McDonald's North, of course. Telephone harassment reported on John Street, 9.05 p.m. There was a complaint a 13-year-old stepdaughter was being unruly. Police investigated and said nothing illegal was going on, 9.59 p.m. On Friday, a report came in that three people possibly were stealing items from yards. Police investigated. They found an open door in one building that could not be secured. That was at Voris and Chestnut in that area, 12.51 a.m. Battery reported, Parkfield Court, 102 a.m. Domestic disturbance between a husband and wife and their son, South Green Street. That turned out to be verbal only, 7.22 a.m. An officer requested to uh, transport a student to school. An officer was requested to transport a student to school. The officer followed as the father took the student to Tuttle Middle School from East Market, 9.13 a.m. The Montgomery County Sheriff's Office arrested Thursday Mariah Abney, 30, of Crawfordsville on a warrant, 3.15 p.m. Report of fraud, North County Road 350 East, 12.24 p.m. A man reported his son was attacked by a dog. The dog is in Animal Welfare League custody, 1.43 p.m. An officer was out of his car picking up debris on Memorial Drive, 2.10 p.m. School bus driver reported she was passed on the double line by a car with In God We Trust license plate, U.S. 231 north of Linden, 2.56 p.m. There was a complaint a four-year-old boy was laying in the street playing with matchbox cars on Academy Way. No one was there when officers arrived, 4.12 p.m. Motorbike reported stolen from the Montgomery, from Montgomery County was recovered in Howard County, 4:55 p.m. Telephone harassment reported, East County Road 500 North, 5:22 p.m. A man requested assistance picking up items from his ex, State Road 47, 8:42 p.m. Domestic disturbance that was physical reported on East County Road 75 South. 9.59 p.m. There was a call requesting assistance contacting the person's brother, reference their mother's well-being, 10.30 p.m. Two callers asked for help in solving farmland dispute. Both were told it was a civil matter. East County Road 1150 South, 8.42 a.m. A black and white calf was reported to be in the roadway, intersection County Road 1025 East and County Road 400 North, 9.08 a.m. Disabled vehicle reported, I-74 eastbound, 37 to 38 mile marker, 10.06 a.m. A man reported a stolen vehicle, turned out to be 
An April Fool's joke gone bad, police said. 10.12 a.m. Disabled vehicle, State Road 47 South at County Road 400 South, 10.28 a.m. Indiana State Police arrested James Perkins, 52, of Crawfordsville, for operating while intoxicated, 1.58 a.m. And in accidents, the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office on Friday responded to State Road 47 North and County Road 150 North. Bethany A. Rauch of Waynetown struck a deer at that location, 7.10 in the morning. And that's your police blotter for Saturday. April 2nd, 2011. I'm Frank Phillips reporting.